what you will see now is a content management system called onpage2 it's available at onpage2.com um, you can switch to English language by clicking on English so you have to create your own uh, account by clicking on register I already created my account so I just log in enter my password so basically what this is doing is uh, you can manage your website could be internet or intranet website this is uh, working with Internet Explorer only to edit and you can view the files with any browser because it's XHTML along with uh, any kind of CSS that you like so I go to the test section this could be any design what you see here is just one sample design just one sample CSS I can click on new which is integrated into every page now it will load some files this uh, doesn't require any plugin or whatever it's just the HTML even the dialog you see here is the HTML it looks li uh, like a Windows dialog because I choose the colors from the operating system so I can move this around freely just like a real dialog just that I can't move it outside the browser because it's well it's actually HTML inside the browser so I can click on add a new window will pop up I have to move this to the center so you can see it because this is a very small screen just for the presentation I click on heading and what you can see here is a is a default styled heading you can enter any text like hello and welcome to this sample I can choose how important this heading is it's sort of like h1 h2 h3 in HTML I can click OK and we'll take this uh, input you can also add a paragraph like this I click on the paragraph and I can enter anything I like hello this is just some some sample text I copy this, paste it in some more time, paste some more. Now when I press OK, it will split it up into three different paragraphs I can edit. I can also change the type. For example, I can make this a paragraph of type warning. Alert. Warning. I click OK. So now what it does, it chooses the style sheet class basically so whatever the designer decides to make this warning look like it will look like now and you cannot really mess with the layout uh, you can of course change the style sheet now I can also in include a table just like this similar to word it's really uh, what you see is what you get I press OK and it will insert a table like this I can click on any table cell and just edit the text hello once more this is some cell content I click OK and you can see the cell here I can also for example format the whole table to let's say separate the, the rows um, now once I once I input a, once I create a table in the page I can also move it up and down freely I press OK and it will just sit here I can also move this paragraph down the screen is a bit crowded because this is 800 uh, 600 layout now so actually you would mm, fare better with a bigger screen but this is just for the video so maybe you can see in the background the paragraph which is highlighted moves up and down I press OK and it will just sit here okay I can also insert an image this is all like real time and instantly visible so when I choose a picture like the find forward logo uh, okay I open the image press OK and now you can see the logo I can also move it up again so this is all on the client side so nothing nothing got saved to the server so far if I press save like this um, it will ask me some question and then it will get saved into a 
MySQL database as like an XML snippet and it will output it again as XHTML. Okay, if I got administrator rights, I can also click on sitemap on top and I can directly access the, the sitemap. Doesn't seem like I have administrator status. If I would have, I could just edit the sitemap and I could drag and drop uh, different sections or give certain style sheets to a page or assign, attach certain rights to a page and so on. It's all inherited. If I if I include a style sheet here, it will inherit uh, through all the pages uh, below this uh, below this section. Uh, there's a lot of uh, features like you can search, of course. You can even include a search result. And one nice thing, if I go to this section again, I create a new page. One nice feature is the component, which you can edit. I click on add, I click on component, and now I can, for example, insert a table of content, which will list all the headlines and immediately link them. I can add a discussion forum just like this, just by clicking add uh, discussion, put some text on top text will read uh, welcome to the discussion forum I click OK and now when I save um, wait I will give it a better page title I click on the page title discussion forum for blog ok you have uh, read access, write access, keywords, start expire date you can hide the page so when I click on save it will immediately create a discussion forum on this page. You can see the text I entered and the component which was collapsed before will now expand to a full discussion forum. Title, nice feature, commentary, the comment, uh, hello world, author, this is me, I send it will tell me that it was sent and now I have uh, the text inside the page. There's a lot of other components. Uh, one interesting component is um, that you can include uh, the search result and for example you can search for uh, all new pages and list them in chronological order so that you would see the what's new section on, on any page you just include the search result dynamically I can try to do it I click on new I click on add and I click on component let's see if I have this feature here okay it includes a dynamic generated search result in the page I click on it I click on the component last change within one day any author must contain image no I click on OK I add some text on top OK and I save and now inside this page you will have a instant search result on all the new pages of course this page will change dynamically whenever you uh, whenever you look at it you can see on top these are all uh, document IDs so you can move this page and the link will stay the same you can also export this then you will see some H HTML extension here